Here's your Pinpoint Weather 12 forecast. Good morning, some beautiful scenes out there as we get ready for the sun to come up, but we have that nice pre sunrise glow going on. Let's take you to one of those spectacular pictures. This one from Newport Harbor. Now this looks beautiful, but it doesn't feel quite so beautiful. There's a bit of a wind out there creating a wind chill that is cooler than these numbers look here on the screen. These numbers are actually above normal for morning time this time of year. 35 in Providence, 35 Newport, 36 New Bedford, Smithfield one degree above freezing, Westerly at 35 and Block Island at 36. But you factor in these winds and it feels a little bit cooler. 16 miles an hour from the west southwest in Smithfield, 17 in Providence, 8 Newport, 14 Westerly, and a 26 mile an hour breeze Block Island. Block Island has a gust one mile per hour shy of 40 right now. 20 miles an hour Newport, 28 Westerly, 28 from TF Green. These gusts will continue throughout the day. And that means our wind chills will continue throughout the day. Right now we are feeling like we're in the low 20s from Smithfield to Providence, feeling like 29 in Newport and 29 in Taunton. So even though actual high temperatures reach the 40s today, it will feel like it's in the 30s at times with that wind. But we should get some sun too. So overall not a terrible day to be outside. You just have to deal with that gusty wind. And that's because we have the center of low pressure swirling up here to the north that is sending in those very strong winds from the west. Now fortunately this is a dry wind direction for us. That's why we keep in the sun for most of the day. I do think some of the clouds will start to return during the afternoon. We'll give it partly cloudy this afternoon, but pretty nice out there. Sunglasses and probably jackets required. 43 at noontime, 46 2 p.m. And these temperatures once again above normal. Normally uh, temperatures would be into the upper 30s, so we're exceeding that by a decent margin today. Here's a look at the wind gust forecast. This is 2 p.m., and this doesn't look very different from what we're seeing right now. We may get a little bit windier, though, over the next several hours as the atmosphere kind of mixes together. So gusts generally between 35 and even a few potential wind gusts up to around 40 today. This evening, temperatures fall back through the 30s, but you know, this is pretty nice for this time of year for nighttime temperatures 38 by 8 p.m. 35 at midnight with mostly clear skies. I want to fast forward to MLK Day tomorrow should be a dry day fine for outdoor activities. You can see there is some activity in the atmosphere in the northeast, but it's not really affecting our area very much. Same thing on Tuesday. Now on Tuesday, one of the things that will happen is that a cooler air mass starts to slide into place. So by Tuesday night and Wednesday morning and Thursday morning, temperatures will be quite a bit colder and that sets the stage for at least the chance of maybe some snow. Once you get that cold air, that's ingredient number one. The question is, can you get the moisture and the storms to move on through at the same time? That remains to be seen, but as we go into Wednesday, Thursday, there's a chance of at least some rain or snow developing. Could be something a little more significant right now. It's just a chance and we'll keep you updated. So in that seven day forecast, a few things to note here. First of all, tomorrow, for those of you that are off, looks pretty good. Temperatures in the upper 30s by 9 a.m. By noontime, 1 p.m., we're into the mid 40s. As we go beyond Tuesday, 39. Now, I mentioned how temperatures start to cool off. Notice by Wednesday, highs only in the mid 30s. Look at that 18 on Thursday morning. It's been quite a long time since we've put a forecast number that cold for the morning hours. And then on Friday, low 40s, partly cloudy. Now, Thursday, we'll have the chance of some rain and snow showers that could continue into Friday morning. Again, that is just something we're watching that is far from set in stone, and we'll keep monitoring that. In the meantime, you can always go to WPRI.com for the latest weather updates. We have updated blogs and videos. Kate. Well, Pete, it was a